say thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak here tonight. I stand before you as an Arkansas resident, taxpaying citizen, but more importantly, as a concerned parent of ASMSA too. When our daughter was accepted to this school, she was ecstatic. She is such a gifted and talented student and even a much better person. She was so excited and looked forward to the academic challenges the school offers, but also provided her the chance to be in a community of her peers to both learn from and mentor to. As her parents, we were so proud of her and honored that she was selected to be part of such a prestigious, challenging institution of higher learning. We truly believe ASMSA's mission statement to create, encourage, and sustain throughout the state of Arkansas an educational community of talented students, faculty, and staff that pursues knowledge of mathematics, science, and art. While it has been an academic challenge for our child, she has thoroughly enjoyed it and has excelled in her assignments. She has met every challenge with the help and support of the most knowledgeable and interactive educational staff. She truly loves her teachers and the academic opportunities that ASMSA has available. The educational staff at ASMSA should be recognized and commended for their incredible knowledge, support, and patience with the students. This is where my glowing remarks for ASMSA will cease. The Res Life staff of this institution should be ashamed and embarrassed for their actions or lack thereof. These children were entrusted to this staff for support, protection, and guidance. The majority of this staff have been a huge disappointment. They have been unsupported, self-serving, and have even created an atmosphere of animosity and division among students. From the initial, initial privilege walk exercise that was shared with and supported by school administration, that unfortunately laid the foundation for students to be degraded, embarrassed, or even worse, become targets, to the blatant disregard for students' needs for support or to listen to both sides of the story. The majority of the Res Life staff and most of the administration have repeatedly failed. Why should a child be embarrassed because the parents have worked hard to provide better opportunities and a better life than they themselves have? Being the beacon of excellence and focus on the future does not exist within the majority of the Res Life staff. The repeated moral and sometimes questionable activities that have either been allowed or ignored for the sake of being inclusive or just fears of bad publicity are inexcusable and decorum prevents detailing them here. Where is the leadership of ASMSA? Who is the captain of this ship and where is the team that holds that captain accountable? What happened to having higher standards not only in the classroom, but in daily campus life? It appears that this administration answers to no one. When questioned, the Arkansas Department of Education says they have no jurisdiction. So ASMSA administration becomes the sole judge, jury, and executioner to apply the rules as they see fit based upon individual circumstances or feelings. There is an old but famous adage that absolute power corrupts absolutely. It appears that that is the case at ASMSA. Many parents, former students, and donors to this school are deeply troubled and concerned over the direction that this school is headed. While this administration may prefer to be a safe haven and be inclusive, there are rules that have been established to govern this school. These rules should be applied consistently and fairly to all students, regardless of race, religion, creed, or social standing. Students should qualify on merit and the outlined requirements and not based upon grant funding that the school can receive. While we were initially so proud and happy for our child to be granted admittance and acceptance to this school and earn a high quality education and to interact with peers, we now face other unexpected emotions. It is disappointing, disheartening, and demoralizing to see what actually occurs and is allowed to occur from administration changing grades to better to campus life. Due to Res Life, I could not honestly or consciously look a parent in the eye and tell them to send their child to this school. Sacrificing the self-esteem, happiness, and soul of a child for the sake of a better education should never be a trade a parent has to consider. In closing, there are many exceptional staff members and faculty at this school. The educational staff is amazing, supportive, and brilliant. There are other members of this team that work hard and behind the scenes to do great jobs to help these kids that unfortunately go without recognition. <coughs> I would be remiss if I did not mention what an absolute disservice and travesty it is that ASMSA recently felt the need to dismiss Valerie Carpenter. Not only did she bring class, dignity, and grace to this school, she recruited most of the students that attend. She not only knew them as numbers, but she knew the story behind almost every child on campus, if not all of them. She worked hard to bring ASMSA positive exposure and open avenues for children across this state. It's unfortunate that she appears to be another casualty of unchecked power. 
Thank you for your time, and I sincerely hope that the true supporters of ASMSA, past students, current students, and future students will see ASMSA return to the excellence it was once known for. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Mr. Austin.